Lesson one, whatever you know now and whatever led to your current success will eventually depreciate unless you actively work on learning new skills, accumulating knowledge and building new behaviors. Simply, continuous professional development is a lifelong requirement, not an option. And remember, knowledge is relatively easy to accumulate quickly, but also depreciates quickly. On the other hand, skills are hard to win, but keep their value a little longer. Lesson two, career growth is not dependent on the volume of work you do, but rather your added value to your company. Don't be misled by busyness. Lesson three, don't settle in your comfort zone. You need to keep pushing yourself and influencing the qualitative nature of what you work on with the aim of expanding your experience and building your career. Stretch your limits, partake in new projects and activities, interact with different kinds of people and experiment with new ways of getting things done. Lesson four, don't leave your career planning in the hand of your company. As Andy Grove said, nobody owes you a career, you own it. You cannot assume that what your company asks you to do will always be the right thing to build your career. You have got to be a good corporate citizen, but you have also to balance that with what makes sense for your own development. Lesson five, never underinvest in marketing yourself inside and outside your company. Build and own your profile on LinkedIn to showcase your talents, skills, aptitudes and interests. This will help you build and maintain an online and offline network. Now that I shared with you the five lessons, I have a bonus for you. Five questions as you think about your career. Question one, in what way are you personally more valuable on the marketplace than last year? Question two, what are your plans to make yourself more valuable on the marketplace than in the past? Question three, what specific new skills do you plan to acquire or enhance in the next year? Question four, what is your personal strategic plan for your career over the next three years? Question five, what do you want to be famous for? Thank you.